Today we meet those that make and star in these films and those that say they are trash at best and dangers at worst. Somewhere in this country it's 10 o'clock at night. Do you know what type of movie your child is renting? Do you know what type of knife he's planning to use on you while you sleep? <laughs> Now, I just want to tell you, moms and dads at home, that there are going to be some pictures and scenes from motion pictures, slasher films that we're going to show on this show that uh, have never been seen before on television. And, and you're going to probably, some of you are going to end up puking. So you might not want to, you might not want to watch it, all right? Let me introduce at home base John Anastasio, who is a slasher movie critic and at Loudmouth number one, Rick Sullivan, who is the editor of Gore Magazine. Rick will... Uh, We'll start with Rick, all right? As the editor of one of the leading gore magazines, or horror film fan magazines, you've been quoted as saying that the types of movies which we'll be discussing tonight are cotton candy for the mind. I, I find nothing really sweet about driving a knife just below a woman's navel and then ripping it up. That's sweet. Well, it's uh, the same kind of vicarious thrill you get from riding a roller coaster at the defunct Palisades Park. Kids. Well, ask, me, ask me how sweet this one is. I'll show you one of the more gentle ones. All right? As a matter of fact, tell me how sweet it is. Let's see uh, one of those slasher films, all right? A little scene here. That must be it. The way they always say courtesy of. What the hell is courteous about that? Whoa. I mean... Uh, Anything sweet in that? Well, your staff, that? your staff did a very good job, because that is a clip from one of the most sadistic films ever made in 1972. But taking it out of context like that, I could see where it is sick, and you would be horrified by it. But if you take it in the whole of its 90-minute running time, it plays as a morality play. <laughs> Anything you've seen there, any, any, each one of the villains that did the slashing gets his comeuppance at the end. And most of the kids that go to see them go to see for the state-of-the-art makeup and the blood spurting and uh, how it's done. I, I don't see anybody going for a state-of-the-art makeup. They go to see the blood and the gore, they pander to that garbage, and all it does is land up rotting minds and rotting hearts. And, and it's exposed to kids that are very, very impressionable. There's enough violence on TV when we get ultra-graphic violence then we really start working on these kids. What type of example are you Sir, setting for Sir, impressionable them? children weren't allowed to see that film. It was rated R, which requires anyone under 17 to be accompanied by a parent. Rick, let me ask you, realistically, can a kid go into a video store and get that thing? Yes, he can, which is where so. your guests and I are on the same side, you know, for that. I uh, advocate imposing the same rating system as presently used by the MPAA tour, towards videos that you're in the store. Stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay, he's, he's yeah. agreeing with you on that, so kids aren't going to see that in the... Oh, there's an attraction. I mean, right? don't you agree... Don't you looks agree like, with me like that anyone 17, 17 years of age Always is... ...handle a... something like that and you can enjoy it for what it is? Enjoy it for what it is? Garbage like that is only going to affect people of all ages. It's just it's the most damage is done Rick, on the young. Rick, you've said that real, realistically that uh, these are, are morality plays where good triumphs over evil. Right. But don't you have to wait a long time before you see evil get its just desserts? But you know evil's going to get its butt kicked in the last reel. And the reason kids like these things is because of people like you that love to criticize them and take them off the market. It's like rock and roll. Kids love what their parents hate. I mean, here is... Here is, here's one of Rick's uh, mailing magazines here, all right? It's a beautiful young girl with a being slashed in the throat here. Very lovely. I folded this part up because her breasts are exposed. Yeah. And, uh, 
And Rick? I've pushed this a long way now for you, the magazine. I'd uh, I hope so. like to be in this next movie. <laughs> <laughs> Mort, well, that's just part of the problem, though, there. It's not simply the violence. It's the sex that's used there. It's the degrading well, of women. that's not sex showing a woman's breasts. No, but we're talking about in these movies. They're always scantily clad. But this guy is clad. strangling her throat, all right? He's not touching her breasts, so there's nothing right. sexual about that. The breasts nothing are not... Nothing sexual about that, where they're exposed in that fashion. Well, I mean, you walk down the street, uh, you see through a girl's blouse, so it's, the wind's blowing in close, you see... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the same thing. I guess you do same see those thing. things. Huh? I guess you do see those things. You Looking well, for the measure. I do. don't look below the waist of a man, if that's what you mean. <laughs> do you like movies like Cannibal Holocaust, Splatter Girls, and Barn of the Naked Dead? I mean, you think these should be tools that are used to teach kids about right and wrong? Seriously, John, back on the serious side now. Uh, right and wrong. Use the Star Wars trilogy. That's a beautiful case of uh, good over evil. You don't see any gratuitous graphic violence. All the older movies, Frankenstein, Dracula, you didn't see all of that. Good versus evil always triumphed in those cases. You don't need it. It's unnecessary and Well, it's now, really, now let's go back and look at Frankenstein. Did good, over, good triumph over evil? Because what they did was Frankenstein was portrayed as evil because of the things he did, and yet you felt sorry for Frankenstein at the end of that movie. It's not true. Good did not prevail over evil. Frankenstein was evil. We pretended him to be an abused, used person. So, therefore, we had a pity for him. But These he still folks killed. die. These folks die. Let's get on to the next segment of the show, all right? I want you to meet some folks who are actually in these motion pictures and find out if the horror movies are really porno movies in disguise. Stay with us. Let me introduce at home base one of the superstars of horror films. His name is Michael Berryman. He's also the host of Gorgon Video Magazine. And, I'll start, and, and of course, Paige Mellish is with us. She's uh, one of the leaders of feminist fighting pornography. So let's see if we can tie these two things together. You're one of the most popular actors uh, in this genre of film today, Michael. One film that helped you reach these lofty heights, all right, is The Hills Have Eyes. Let's take it. Let's, let's take a look at a clip from this slasher classic, please. <laughs> How does it make you feel when you watch that lunatic stick the gun in a woman's mouth? And, and what is your opinion of how women are portrayed in all these films? Well, it's not how it makes me feel that's a concern, because women aren't the ones that are going around and raping and beating and murdering women. Men are. The, but it's what... It's what happens to men from watching these films. And two studies have been done. One was done at the University of UCLA by uh, Dr. Now get Malamuth. Me the, get me all the, I don't care about the doctor. Get me the <laughs> UCLA. Get me the results of the study. Okay. This study found that from watching R-rated slasher films, men had an increased aggression and acting out of violence against women. They issued higher noise levels uh, towards the women. <laughs> was this study, study done by a woman, Paige? Another study that was done was by Dr. Donnerstein, University of Wisconsin, in which hardcore pornography X-rated films were shown to one group and R-rated slasher films were shown to another. Both groups exhibited the same attitudinal changes, an increased activity of violence <coughs> against women in issuing electric shocks to women participants in the group, callousness towards rape victims. Okay, all right, Michael, uh, Michael, 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 okay. Michael you, say, you say that women aren't degraded in the films that you star in. How, how can you say shoving a gun down a woman's throat isn't a violent kind of sexual imagery thing. Uh, this particular clip from The Hills Have Eyes and 
uh, I understand Wes Craven's, uh, his inner workings, and he, he's a psych uh, major in school. And, uh, and sure, that's, uh, you know, we can always, we can get the uh, implication of that, sure. Okay, anybody that takes it, you know, if you sit at home and you watch nothing but pornography and you watch nothing but, you know, a, you know the, the... Steady diet. The steady diet. Uh, uh, you're not balanced. You're not balanced. What I, what I do in the type of, the type of film, the type of film that I do... People go, to, people go to horror movies to be scared. You go to a driving with your girlfriend, you hope she jumps, jumps in your lap and grabs you because, you know, ah, ah, I dare you to look. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's the type of films I'm talking about. That's the type of films that I do. Paige, and, you spend most of your time on a, a fighting pornography, all right? Uh, and there's very little, if any, nudity in any of these films. Do you see elements of pornography in them, then? Yeah, the violence is sexualized. And let's remember what Ted Bundy said right before he was killed. He said that it was the combination... Right was <laughs> Ted Bundy was killed? What was Ted killed? Bundy Ted said Bundy was, 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 that it, was that it was the combination of sex and violence. This is sexualized violence. Yeah, showing but Ted Bundy that's was a liar. One psychotic. That. That page, everyone one knows that Ted Bundy was a liar. The lies... Well, I'd like to Ted respond Bundy. to what he said, right, a steady diet. Not through, not through Ted Bundy, who's a piece of slime with worms running over him. He was him. sick before yeah. he ever well, saw his movie. I have never seen pornography that made a guy two months after he killed a woman go back, dig her up, and have sex with her again. Well, that's what Ted Bundy. But those elements, are, but that's common theme in pornography. And what he said about a, a steady diet, the Malamuth and Donnerstein studies showed a desensitization process and the attitudinal changes almost immediately upon the viewing of sexualized violence in R-rated slasher films. So. The, uh, your theory of a, a steady diet was disproven by those scientific studies. Well, let me ask you, Rick, do you, feel, do you feel that horror and slasher films are pornographic? Absolutely not. Do you feel that your magazine is pornographic? No, it's not. Now, There's a got, direct link to your magazine. How come you got the naked girl on the front? I'll, how come I'll you got the naked girl on the front? It's your for 14-year-olds. Wait a second. For 14-year-olds, 14 and up can read it, right? No, it has to be purchased by 17. And, uh, anyone under 17 has to have their parent in the store in various oh, okay. places in New York. Oh, well, give me some of the results in there. Well, what you're looking for, for the type of people, the standards... And read every bit of that. says, the only standards necessary for indoctrination into GG, Gore Galore... Gore Gazette. Gore sorry. Gazette, sorry, legion of uh, heathens, has nothing to do with race, creed, or color. One, you have to have a heartfelt affinity for graphic bloodletting, seamy nudity, and the sleaziest of solenoid fare. Two. <laughs> Admittedly, you must be left of center. Three, you must be able to drink a case of Paps without even thinking about having to take a win. <laughs> and four, you have to have a you-know-what that fits your hand like a glove. Now, you tell me you're not linking right in here you tell me and it's not in those words and you tell me that you're not linking sex and violence together have you, you ever gone to a frat party sir and had a few beers and talked yeah but no one ever stuck their weenie like in my hand <laughs> <laughs> what what we're not we're not talking we're not talking about sticking weenies in each other's hands we're talking it's about right general... here it's right here you must have a that fits your hand like a glove just to show you the basic, the basic tenets that bond all the say all us beer drinking gore hounds. Oh uh, yeah, drink. we all sit around with our unit hanging out. <laughs> Maybe in the privacy of our own home, and you're taking it out of context. It's a very long editorial, and it's a quote from a record by a band that you also hate, probably called the Meat Men. If you read the whole editorial, you'll say Meat Men. You'll say you're taking me out of context, which you can do with any one of these movies. Sit and watch the whole damn thing, and then you tell me it's bad for you. To have a part of it rotten doesn't, and the rest of it possibly acceptable doesn't redeem the rotten parts. There's a lot of rotten parts on a lot of your uh, very uh, popular TV shows. Uh, you know, uh, easy, Doc easy, Dynasty. Michael. Uh, uh, Especially you know, talk shows. I mean, you could take yeah. any of that out of context and have me locked up tonight, but if you want to sit and filibuster and read a whole Gore Gazette, I'm sure the people would be on my side. No one's suggesting you be locked up. It's just that it's garbage. Fine. Well, but if he's selling it, wait a second. If he's selling this to 17 plus, what the hell? They're adults. They can make up their own minds. They don't need us to be their censors. 
They don't need us to be their censors. But uh, I mean, a hell, lot of the, the crimes government. against women are committed by adult males. The studies that I cited were adult Please males over that. 17 Please years old. Please explain that to the young lady who's right. lying in a coma from Central Park. They were all teenage males. True, and we do know that pornography and certainly the R-rated slasher type films that the largest consumers are adolescent males. But males can be processed to commit violence against women at any stage or age of maturity. 30% of the males in the Malamuth study had a sexual response to sexualized violence. What is the effect of women? I have a sexual response to a rough ride in a subway car. <laughs> Next, when you leave the room, let me ask you something. Does your kid change the channel from Sesame Street to some movie like I ripped off her armpit and sucked out the hair? Now, let me introduce you to a gentleman from Springfield, Missouri. You say, what the hell has the Show Me State got to do here on the Morton Downey Jr. show? They're going to show you a way that maybe we can get some of this under control in a way that at least the younger kids are protected. Representative Doug Harpool. Doug, uh, you're the chief sponsor of a bill that for the most, I guess for the very first time, anywhere would put excessively violent video cassettes off limits to minors. What's prompted you to take on that issue? Well, I heard from my constituents complaints from parents who had no idea of the, uh, that the restrictions that exist in motion picture theaters don't apply to video rentals. They came home and a little early from work one day and found their 12-year-old boy and his 10 friends watching slasher movies and found out that they'd gone down to the local grocery store every day for two or three weeks and have been watching slashers every day. Okay. Tony, What's wrong with that? Where's Tony Timpone, editor of uh, Fangoria Magazine? <laughs> Let me see a copy of this is Fangoria Magazine. Ah, uh, really? I don't know if you can get a shot of this. Can you get a shot of this? Give me this camera. A shot of that. Tip it that way. You see it? Really exciting. Colorful. Graphic. Kind of a makeup artist's dream, I guess, this uh, book would be. Uh, this is one of the popular magazines. Do you think uh, we need restrictions and regulations on these type of films? No, I don't. I think uh, that... You're putting the government, I don't think the government has to step into your local video store. Well, it's the government to, doesn't stand in on the movies either. Those are self-regulated, our films. Yeah, yeah, they are, uh, you, but if the government... You guys can't regulate yourself? I think the uh, video stores can regulate themselves. And well, I think don't they don't regulate are, themselves any more than they guys, do the magazines. Well, why don't you guys, well, video stores regulate themselves. Come on, if you ever walk down 42nd Street, baby, you can find guys inside masturbating, taking drugs, <laughs> watching 25-cent peep shows. That's not self-regulation. But what these people The regulation want, starts with the people who make the films. No, I don't think they have to regulate themselves. It's up to the individual to decide. They don't have to regulate No, they don't. If, if someone wants to see a horror film, they're allowed to, they should be allowed to see a horror film. So you have film. no self -control. If someone doesn't want to uh, see the movie, they don't have to. Just you like think people, they don't want to watch do you the think show, people who maybe don't have fully developed cognitive reasoning, such as maybe a 12 or 13-year-old, should... Uh, be allowed to just arbitrarily go in and see any slasher film you want? No, it's up to the parent to decide, not the government, not, not the, a ratings group. It's up to the parent. But how can the decide. parent decide when a parent doesn't know what the hell the film is? Well, they should know. They should know. They uh, should take I an should interest take in their I should take all my kids. time. I should therefore go to That's every right. ice cream parlor, every grave site, every damn bookstore, every video shop, every shopping mall, and every store in the mall, because if you're a parent, pal, you know that's where the kids go on weekends. Let's go to the shopping center, baby. <laughs> Out to the mall they go. Come on, the you're government being a total should be. The government what? should be a parent. <laughs> no, I have never once mentioned the government being a parent. I mentioned that the industry itself should regulate itself. Well, Mark, you know, the industry is going to be regulating itself because right now Senator McConnell of the United States Senate is introducing legislation <coughs> that if a victim can show a causal link between harm done to them, like rapes or beatings, and pornography consumed by the perpetrator, the page you take that, me through the world and I that never they see would be able to sue... 
the producer or distributor of that particular piece of pornography. Unfortunately, oh, Clarence Darrow is dead, baby. It'll never fly in the perpetrator's house. Court. We don't need another law. law. This is federal we Congress. don't need another law. The Supreme we Court has ruled over federal Congress no, uh, except twice. If someone doesn't want to see a, a bloody spot of film, they don't have to see it. You know, they, You'll be held liable. Uh, and can't. that'll you be self-regulation. Well, it won't happen. Spring or, because Spring you'll Spring be new. Part of films just mirror society. It's a violent but world why? we live in. You know? well, it's that cyclic. mirror society? You know yeah. anyone who looks like Freddy? Huh? <laughs> it's Come cyclic. On. The study shows it's There's nothing scarier than the evening news. That, that's the truth. <laughs> the evening news is what's scary. Well, think, let me hear from you, sir, because what? I think this guy... Here's why the government has to stand in, and I hate the government getting involved. They're always a bunch of you-know-what, all right? But here you go, a guy has to step in because you say the industry shouldn't regulate itself. What do you, what's your bill? Well, first of all, the kids have done that. Uh, government's regulated what kids can and cannot see in virtually every other area, from magazines to uh, pornography to obscenity. We've done that. But VCR rentals have always been avoided. That's why my bill steps forward and takes... This before I know well, motion, picture, motion pictures have regulated themselves since 1968, and I feel that should just step over into the video that's market right. without but, but you we, people getting involved. That's with regard that's to what children. I'm trying to convince Bubble Brain of. I'll talk to him after the show. <laughs> but, but with regard to children, there are other laws with, which would apply uh, someone who voluntarily produced a movie or allowed children and gave it to them like you do at a rental. The problem is that parents don't know what's there. We have the latchkey problem with parents coming and not being at home well, until the kids are there. Parents should take an interest in their kids. They don't need some other group to step in and tell them what Why kind of bodies no, wait, you, we don't What's the matter with you? Cannot. Why can't you understand that we're not saying the government should do this? No, I know that. You folks should do it. The problem don't you is think so? just kids. I don't Women think so. are being raped think. and beaten no. by adult males. Let the kids, male. en the kids enjoy this stuff. Let them watch it. John, John, let me ask you a question. If you came home one night and your yeah. night, John, hey, come on, Flama, get up there now. John, if you came home one night and your nine-year-old daughter or something was uh, had rented, I spit on your grave from the corner video store, what would you do? I have to have a very long talk with her. Yeah, you got to sit down and watch the movie with her and have to No, talk Mort, the question is... Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Just what I want to reinforce, Mort. Psychoanalyze you and tell your daddy you shouldn't be so paranoid. How many of these movies kids, have you they, sat they, through they from beginning to end? They know it's all make believe. How many of these movies have you actually watched all five or six reels of? From beginning to end? Yes. None of them. Not all oh, the way that, through. That, right. You don't have to see the whole thing. Your to attention see garbage. span doesn't go beyond the 25 cent porno loops. The problem is you're just focusing on children. It's not just children that are raping and beating women. It's adult males. <laughs> The problem of adult male consumption has to I be addressed. I worry any time the government steps in to regulate anything, the who's government has already stepped in. The who's going to be deciding on the which ones are off limits? Right. What we've done is adopt the same definition that the Supreme Court has adopted for uh, what is obscene and what's not obscene. It's a three-pronged test, and the same court system that decides what is and is not obscene would decide what is and is not excessively violent. And again, we're only talking about those under 17. And contrary to, to say that my bill would make government intervene and take over the job of parenting, my bill would allow parents to begin to have some control because under the bill, children and young people can see slashers, but only if they're rented by an adult. And That's that not necessarily have true. The opportunity Again, to everybody watching you with is saying the parents shouldn't be responsible for what the kids are watching and they can't babysit them all the time. Well, maybe we do have to place more responsibility on the parents and see what the hell is going on How with the their hell kids. Do you place more responsibility on two parents who are working eight, 12 hours a day. Yeah. Well, yeah. you've got to find a way, or maybe you shouldn't and you have know, kids. And you know what caused it, John? What caused it was an economic condition where both parents had to go out of work. And what caused that? It was caused by a government that allowed indexing, allowed interest rates to build up. It was caused by governments that wanted to give themselves more money and wanted to take more away from the people. So how the hell can we turn to the government? You're going to have to make a decision whether the economics are more important to you than what, how your children turn out. You're missing the mark. It's not children. Ted Bundy was down, not a child. Down, oh, he come off it with Ted Bundy. Are you the in love first with him? ever slasher musical. I bet you think it's called Singing in the Rain. It's called Puking in Your Brain. Come on, watch it.
we've got a uh, got a new guest with us at Loudmouth number two. Let me introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Dave Juskow, the director of that fashionable film, Splatter Girls. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Juskow, you're a producer and director of slasher films. We've been hearing about the artistic and, I suppose, entertainment values of these movies. Let's take a look for just a second at your uh, <coughs> Academy Award nominee, Splatter Girls. May we see that for the folks at home? Get it off! musical. I suppose you expected to see Gene Kelly in that when you missed it. We all like to be entertained, just Gal, but uh, you say the grosser the movie is, the better. What the hell was so entertaining about that? It was fun. It was fun to watch. Uh, you know, come on. See, making a joke out of violence against women lessens the seriousness of it. <laughs> Makes it more acceptable. It's all good fun. Let me ask this lady. Let me go back here into the audience. Your kid brought that home. What would you do? I'd throw Besides, it in the garbage can. Throw, up. throw it in the garbage can. It's well, absolutely what did you find? Disgusting. What did you find so non-redeeming about it? Violence. I mean, it's who has thirst for blood? And here's the guy. What normal people? Here's have the guy who thinks blood. it's fun to cut out the guts, sing a song, oh, 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 and cut the intestines in half and squeeze the juice in his mouth. Children so try to emulate me, what I'm they sorry. see on TV. Right? What about cartoons? Not just children. children. They definitely emulate what they see. Look how violent cartoons are. That, that was, what you're watching now was, was a cartoon. What's yeah, but Mark, one in two women in this country are being beaten, and one in three are being raped, and it's not by oh, children. We've enough about that already. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why is the baby hanging by his toe? Why not? Is it dead? Yeah. The baby's dead. Yeah, well, you know, it's supposed to be just a little baby. Come on! You know, we, we grew up on these kind of movies, like The Hills Have Eyes, you know, I mean, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we I grew mean, up to be rapists on these kind oh, of movies. Oh, come on, if you think that that's going to start some rapist... It's a turn-off to rape. It's not what I think. Yeah. It's what a government... <laughs> Barry Manilow albums all day backwards and then knife up my kitchen table or something, but you know, I'm not gonna but do that. But men are doing that. Old. One in two women in this country are being beaten. It's not by children. If it's you think anybody... What about actually... the kids in Central Park? They beat that woman. They were kids. Okay, that was Let me... kids. What about the, the kids, what about the kids in New Jersey who shoved a baseball male. bat up the little girl? An adult they were kids. Hey, people that committed crime, people that committed crime should be thrown in us in jail. People that... <laughs> You know, child abusers should have their butts And the people jail. who teach Look them and incite them to be that way, the pornographers should be in jail, too. Instead of busting these people, let me, let me go to the representative. John, Michael, let me go. Let me, let me go to the representative. Representative Harpool, in, in this yet-released uh, classic, which, of course, I'm sure would rival Indiana Jones if it was out today, uh, would it fall under the guidelines of your anti-slasher legislation? I, I've not seen all of it. I think it would probably apply to the uh, the VCR rentals would be prohibited to people under 17. Yeah, I think it would fit that definition. John, answer. what do you people prefer? Um, your kids shooting, uh, smoking crack on the corner, or watching some horror movies at home where you could watch them? You know that is it that. Yeah. <laughs> As a parent, I want the right to, to help make that decision. And if he goes down to the local grocery store and rents it, I don't have that impact. I think there are messages that a parent should have a right to try to control their young person, especially when they're, when they're 12 and 13. And all this bill does is say that we should have that type of regulation. Well, if you're older and you want to go out and watch that kind of movie, that's fine with me. But I think that we shouldn't let messages to young people in this nation go through the, without any parental control. Oh, so now, long. you said earlier you wanted parental control. That's they, all my deal provides. Kids should watch control. anything they want, especially these kind of movies, because if they're... <laughs> You see these kind of movies, 
you see what they're doing in the movies and flashing them up, maybe they'll think to themselves, well, I have to go flash people up. I've seen it already. Now, carry on. Should watch anything they want. Yeah, because I'm. Mean, How about a snuff movies? Well, snuff movies are different. Oh, that's different. I mean, that's just. Oh, oh, snuff movies! You're really going out and killing people, and then you you're putting them on film. We're not doing that, you know. How about a movie that just depicts a snuff movie? Is that okay? Yeah. So if it's fake, I'm not because it the out. kid would know it was a snuff movie, right? Well, he wouldn't know, but it wouldn't matter. You're damn right he wouldn't know. Well, That's wouldn't why matter, yours though. is no better, man. Cutting up and singing a song. The kids know the difference between yeah, but it wearing a dead baby. Yeah. The only thing that's right about it is you got it in your left ear. You, John, have decided, because you don't like slasher movies the way they are, decided to make your own Walt Disney G-rated slasher movie. Now, what do you Absolutely remember? right, Mort. Now, yeah. get, now, wait a minute. How about that? Where, where's the extension cord? Come on, get where's the extension cord? Get out of here. This is man of yeah. Take a break. Take a break. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> If you live in the Tri-State area and would like to be a part of our studio audience, write to Mort Tickets, 9 Broadcast Plaza, Secaucus, New Jersey, 07096. Please include your telephone number. Always got when you when you go to my audience, you've always got one part that agrees, one part that disagrees. Uh, we'll start with you. Yeah, I'd like to say that although I'm not against any of these slasher movies, I am a fan of them. I do believe that there should be restrictions in the video stores. However, that's where the problem lies, not in the movies themselves. So this should not be knocked. I mean, if somebody wants to watch them, this isn't a censorship country. But I'd also like to say that according to um, I'd like to address it to that woman who was up before. Paige Mellish. Exactly, Paige. I'd like to say that to knock these movies against violence against women only is wrong because. You pointed out that most violence against women is by men, but also most violence against other men is by men. That's just because men are more... No, that's not even nature. true. Yes, that is true. No, it yeah. isn't. That is true. Violence against other men is created by men, and the subject of today's show is not against men. I think you're great. full of it, okay? It How dare movies. you say that my child that's under the age of 17 can watch whatever he wants? I'm his parent to bring it up in a good way possible. Now, I feel 17 or older, you can watch whatever you want. I personally, I watched all these movies, but I will not want my child being able, when I was 12 years old, I got into a rated R movie with no problem with a nine-year-old friend of mine. They never asked for ID. I did not look 17. We so they do not anymore. enforce their, their rules. Let me tell you something. Go for it. Scars from that. Have you, have you suffered, suffered any psychological damage from seeing a, a picture at that age? Everybody has different what? problems. That's How okay. Anything can how do I know? Maybe I have a problem. And then they're going to kill you and your body. But they're already sick. It's not the movie. More. But that's the end of my life. That's the end of my life. I never suffered any psychological problems. How do I know the guy next to me isn't going to suffer them? I don't know that. How do I More, know? I bet you if Charlie Manson watched these kind of movies, he'd probably be a businessman today. You know? I'm he'd get all this pressure on Come on, man. No, I'm serious. Come on, be real. Be real. When someone's... Look, I'm not saying this is going to affect everyone, but the one idiot that's in there who is a psychopath, and it does affect... Don't say it doesn't affect him. Anything so if you save one life, out. anything could trigger that. But all I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, don't let the trigger. government in to do your job. Why don't you let the don't parents just do it? How are you going to let a five-year-old? But how do you let the parent but how, know? I don't understand. Wait a second. How do you let a parent? Let me stand so you get on the camera. How do you let a parent know that a film is violent? All right. If it's already marked by the doesn't manufacturer. Doesn't it say on the box that it's rated R? Yes, they do. They yes, they do. On yours, does it say rated R? Yes. yes. On your violence? Yes. A lot of films, though, will not be rated. You, yeah, there's no assurance that they'll be rated. They describe it on the on the package, Mort, and there's usually pictures. But you see somebody with their guts hanging out on the box, you know it's rated R. Yeah, well, the category it's in. You're, you're going to see it in the category of horror films right next to a whole bunch of others. You go, well, it's going to be a pretty gory what film. What a whole bunch of others? A bunch of other films. Oh, the video films. They got them in sections. 
control. Do you think a parent can really can control tell. where their children go? Your yeah, children should. Yeah, they should. They should. Five years old. When you were 12 or 13 years old and your mother said, don't do something, did you do it? No. Come on. Oh, Come on. You didn't speak out. Come on. Come on. Look at me now. All right. Come well, first on. of all, okay, women like her are part of the problem. What they're doing oh. here. Right now, she's glamorizing, okay? Because now all these kids are going to watch this show and they're going to say, oh, I want to see what this is all about. So now people who aren't even interested in seeing the score are going to start looking at it. Secondly, people who have need these outlets, this is a release for these people. No, okay? it isn't. This is an aggressive outlet. Yeah, they so could see it. Definitely. Now, a government study has found that pornography, yeah. which is what this is, is sexualized violence, well, causes you in adult men women. the Don't acting you watch out the movie real violence. Where the men get brutalized, where the men get chopped up. Look at the movie Charles Play with that little kid Charlie. The movie Charles Play with that little kid Charlie. He's like eight years old running around killing people with a knife. Yeah. I mean, if I had a kid and he saw that movie, he might go get my what is your kid doing no. watching that movie when it's a little kid? But then again, you see a nine-year-old nine kid in New York City bringing a gun to school. Right, yeah. that's the kind of things that we should be concentrating on, but not wasting government money, money on stuff like I mean, this. You should be money concentrating people. all right, your energies on stuff like that. Right, not wasting government money on women, on helping women. Go on, your turn. Yeah, as far as the kid bringing a gun to school, where did he get the gun? Where was the parents? The kid's not going to go to the store. Oh, I want a where gun. Where did he get the he video, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're asking the same question. Where is everything kids. coming from? kids to know bringing a gun to school is wrong? How, why do I have to have a kid to know bringing a gun to school is wrong? Because you don't know what kids do. How can you not doing? know what he's doing? Because you're going to be working, making money, right? I would know right? my kid was going to bring a gun to school. You're telling me. Sir, how could you not see? Sir, how could you not see? How about the other kids, you know? Sir. What do you mean every parent is responsible for his own kid? Come on. Sir. A lot of good parents. A lot of good parents don't know what their kids are doing because they, you can't be with them. You can't, with them. You can't be with them 24 Sarah, hours a Sarah, day, man. It's impossible. It's parents that don't know how to be parents that are against these kind of movies. That's what it is. No, no, no I think it's parents no, who want. No. It's parents who want some help. If you, if you parents grow up, parents who want some help from responsible people like you should be, that simply say this is an R-rated film. That's all we're asking for. Regulate yourself. Don't let the government do it. Go ahead, pal. Your turn. Hey, listen. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. That's, That's easy for you to say. Right? What I about children? What about children? Again, I'm going to say. Huh? They what were, about children? They were you, mentally you ill me now, before they okay? saw the movie. Well, no, it is not no, the were. movie that's making They were brought up believing in Never Never Land. You believe, you, you're saying that they can't grow up to believe to kill because of the guy on the, on the, on, on the television there? Sitting there eating guts? Not if huh? somebody if else. If you sits believe down in with Never Never Land at that age, you that will believe in that, real. okay? They have to sit down and explain that it isn't Who real. Who is telling them this if I do not want them to watch it from the beginning? Am you I knew these don't kind of movies were going to happen. Some, some kind you of You knew these kind of movies were going to happen as soon as they had, you know, the Roadrunner dropping 3,000 ton blocks on Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> Making them like an accordion. But how many kids right are through? going to be up on a mountain dropping it? Am I correct? What? But there are kids that can get one? to knives and What forth. happens if it's just one? <laughs> All right. But they right make these wrong? movies because we go and see them. They oh, wouldn't we love make them. You're saying we. You love them. them. Everybody. You're saying we. Everybody that goes to those movies. Well, I suppose so. You're saying we. I suppose so. I'll tell you what. We'll be back with the audience in just a second. Stay with us. That is hell, huh? Well, let the rest of the world hear about it on my TV show. Send me a one-half-inch VHS cassette no longer than 90 seconds. If I think you got a gripe, on the tube it goes. And if you get yours on, some great gifts. Come on, pal. Now ain't the time to zip it. Here's the address. To order a transcript, send $3 to TV Transcripts, Morton Downey Jr. Show, Box 1649, Alpine, California, or call 1-619-788-MORT. Yeah? What the hell was that? For slasher films, again slasher films. Why? As far as that so, I just have one thing to say. As far as that so-called woman is, I think a rapist <laughs> is going to rape you whether these movies are on or whether they're not. Yeah. What about cartoons? Yeah. People get killed in cartoons. Bugs Bunny's forever That's getting killed. So is Bugs Bunny. Never ever getting smashed. Now this gentleman's not. Right. Who was that? 
violence. I think one of the biggest problems that a lot of people don't realize is that when you were a little kid, you're talking about 12 or 13 year olds, when you watch anything on TV, whether it was Mickey Mantle swinging a bat, Magic Johnson dunking the ball, whatever the case may be, you emulate that. I'm not saying you shouldn't do what you're going to do, but these kids should not be allowed to see what they're going to see at that age because they will emulate it. And that's the problem with a lot of other things. Kids are in Paris. The people, the people, not you. It's all right, they already know you're making money out of it. I want to hear the people. Teach your kid a sense of reality. Then they can watch things without having to go out and kill you people. You should teach them a sense of reality. Teach them a sense of reality. Let them walk. And teach your kid a sense of reality. Let them walk on 42nd Street for two days. You've got to be some sort of a parent. You're talking about little kids. You're not talking about 18-year-olds. Little kids walk. I seen them coming. I was a manager at a video store recently. All right, and I seen little kids go from five and six with their parents bringing them in, picking up only cartoons. Their parents wouldn't even let them go anywhere else. Then all of a sudden, at 12 or 13, they can cross the street by themselves, and the first thing they hit is the horror section. And I wouldn't give them anything. Well, don't they but have to have, have a card? Start, but you can't have a card and the parents give them that brother, card? If they're under 17, brother, they should be able to make their, their own decisions, decisions then. You can't stop them from coming in and getting it for them and saying, here, go home and have a nice and day. And you can't stop them from having sex either. But if it wasn't for sex, we all wouldn't be here. You That's can't watch a kid on the but if it wasn't you can only talk to them. You can only communicate with them. If you weren't encouraged them and taking the interest with right them, way, they'll talk to you about it. Then we wouldn't be it. worried about going to bed with somebody that's going to take your life. Think about that. Yeah. 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 If, you're, if you're against these kind of films, it's just, it's just an excuse for being a bad parent, you know? If they can't, if you can't figure he out how to do He didn't say he was against it. Um, He's against his 9 and 10-year-old watching. That's right. That's right. I you agree with that. Yeah. You want the 9 and 10-year-old? That's right. You're the one who's sick. That's right. Yeah. You're the one who's sick. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why I made it a musical. You can watch it with your kids. You watch it together. Yeah. You, you have to really think that's a musical. The guy sounds yeah. like he's... Wait a minute. No. The problem is... <laughs> Not only with the video stores, but again, Mr. Sullivan before it says you have to be 17 to get into the movies. That's when right. I was 12 years old, I looked 18. I could get into the well, movies by well, myself. I could bring all my friends with me. You can do what you want, no matter what anybody tells you. You can do what you want. My mother didn't know where I was. She didn't know what I was doing. She was a good girl, but she couldn't be there all the time. Like, you went and saw these movies when you were 12. You look like you grew up fine. You don't I did grow up fine. That's besides the point. There's exceptions. Watch out for this guy. He doesn't want any ratings at all by anyone. Watch out. Your kids seen around this guy. Don't let Uncle Barney here give him a bath. And I can right? date you, <laughs> Hey, Barney, kick ass, baby. Yeah. Tomorrow at 7, come home to Channel 9 for the best in New York Mets baseball action. Live from Veterans Stadium, the Mets battle the Philadelphia Phillies. Make it Mets tomorrow at 7. At 12.30, it's the Heavy Metal Countdown. Interviews, behind the scenes, and the latest music from your favorite groups, all here on Channel 9.